Um, hello, Chris. Thank you so much for having me here today. It's my honor to be here today. Today's Animal Innovation Show is brought to you by... Did you know that the Animal Rescue Professionals Association is the only association dedicated to supporting the animal rescue profession? Their certifications are unique in the industry and allow you to differentiate yourself from your peers and colleagues. Their certifications to help you demonstrate your commitment to animal rescue. Get certified today by visiting animalrescueprofessionals.org. So tell us who you are and how you're innovating and helping animals. Yes, I, um, I've been a dog lover since I was a little child. And as I have grown, my love for dogs have grown and my knowledge of and uh, understanding about dog behavior has grown as well. When I started my human massage therapy journey, little did I know that I will transition into this beautiful craft of canine massage therapy. And I mean, canine massage therapy has been recorded since the Julius Caesar days. Wow, that's a long yes. time ago. Yes, yes. Julius Caesar used to take his personal massage therapist with him to war. And his massage therapist used to work on his war dogs. And that was the first recording ever of canine massage therapy. Hmm. So I started reading into the history of human massage. And then it went into horse massage therapy. And then from there, it transitioned into canine massage. So this, this has been something that I've been growing up with it since I can remember. I will love to pet animals, but massage is a very different story from petting animals. With petting animals, you're just petting them, giving them love, comfort, and more bonding. With canine massage, there's a focus on relaxation with the dog. So, so tell me more about the, the canine massage, because I mean, this isn't just something, I mean, this is a, a thing, right? Like there's certifications in this, there's a whole study in this, you know, maybe explain to people how that works. Okay, absolutely. Um, with canine massage therapy, I am from Florida and uh, the requirement to be a canine massage, a certified canine massage therapist, you have to go through a hundred hours of schooling uh, mm -hmm. go to testing, written and practical testing. After that, you have to complete an internship. That was like 25 or 30 more hours of completing an internship. Then making a video with massaging the dog and instructing people and explaining the art of canine massage therapy. And then it's when we officially get certified. So massage therapy is, I, I, I mean, said by the AKC, it's proven that it calms down the animal and it gets them ready and in, and in more tip-top shape to do the performance. How, I mean, how does a session go with a dog, right? I can't believe that it's just, you know, you're telling the dog, go ahead and lie down, right? Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> I mean, it's a little different than when you're doing human massage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the animal chooses when the massage starts and when the massage ends. It's a beautiful thing. I used to have my, my first demo dog. She was a beautiful yellow lab. She would lay down on one side of her body, I will massage that full side of her body. Then on her own terms, of course, she will, yeah, she will move to, the, she will just turn to the other side and she will bark at me to go ahead and do the <laughs> other side. So that is basically it. And very important, the calmer the giver is, the calmer the receiver will be and the more strong that bond will be and the more effective the massage will be for the animal and definitely for the giver. You know, I mean, I know it's, there's a lot, as you said, that's up to them, but how long do they normally last? Well, it can be anything from 15 minutes to a full hour. So with thank thankfully in my career, I could say 95% of all of my clients, of all of my fur clients have been very receptive. I'm very happy to receive their massages. 
Yes. Is there is there something that you recommend to your clients to help them to prepare their animal for this? Or is there or is it literally it's just try it out and see if they'll ad- adapt to it? What I will highly recommend uh, for the companion to prepare their dog for massage is if you like to take them for a walk before the massage, make sure that is 30 minutes before the massage uh, make sure that they are nice and cleaned up because it wouldn't be good for the animal to be dirty or with mud or not being cleaned up or with fleas or ticks because then the massage cannot be performed, honestly. And another one is make sure that the dog is in a more calmer environment that is highly recommended make sure that the dog had their meal before they have the massage because otherwise they will be all over the place hungry i highly recommend uh if you want to pet your animal maybe starting with very light pressure the longer the stroke the more the dog will calm so Blanca, where would you recommend? Where can people go if they want to learn more about canine massage therapy and, and maybe tell them your website if, if they're in your area and they want to hire you? Uh, yes. Well, I can give them my phone number. It's 772-475-0126. I have a, a page on Instagram. It's Unconditional Touch on Instagram. And I have my page on Facebook is Unconditional Touch canine massage therapy and more. And I highly recommend to visit that. And I am more than open to go to people's houses. I can do classes online. It's very nice and simple. I am here at the Southeast Florida area, the Treasure Coast area. So I can do group classes as well. Very nice. Very smart. Well, I appreciate you sharing all that. And as we wrap up the show, I just love to remind our viewers and listeners that, I mean, just another example that Blanca is talking about is ways that you can help animals. So maybe you're watching and you know of somebody or something that's innovative and new or something that's just helping animals. We'd love to know about it. Just go to innovations.show and we'd be happy to have you on the show. And please don't forget to sign up and check out dubert.com where you can be a Dubertier. Uh, one of the tens of thousands of people that are transporting, fostering. There's so many different ways you can help our rescue animals. So sign up for free at Dubert.com. Blanca, thank you so much for coming on. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here.